Hey guys, over the past few weeks there's been a pretty big scandal going on in Japan that you might not know about. It involves this prestigious bathhouse getting caught with some pretty serious health code violations after its guests got sick. Japanese people love hot springs, so this case has been pretty controversial and upsetting to the public. To be honest, when I told my Japanese friends I was making this video, two of them asked me not to, but as you can tell, I'm making it anyways. The scandal involves this one traditional Japanese inn, also known as a ryokan. This specific ryokan, called a Daimaru Besso, was established in 1865, so it's really old. It's actually older than my country. Daimaru Besso is a family-run business that has been passed down through many generations. It was built on these natural hot springs, called Futsukaichi Onsen, that have been traditionally used for over 1300 years. These hot springs are one of Daimaru Besso's biggest attractions. Or at least, they were, but more on that later. Daimaru Besso is a pretty fancy place, so it's quite popular among the upper class. In the past, multiple Japanese prime ministers have stayed there, and even Emperor Hirohito stayed there with his family on multiple occasions. As you can imagine, staying there for even one night can cost hundreds of dollars. Our story today is about this man, Yamada Makoto, who served as president of this ryokan for the past 30 years. But his dad actually originally chose his brother to be president. Unfortunately, that turned out to be a really bad decision. His brother immediately ran the business into hundreds of millions of yen in debt. It got so bad that the banks who were lending the money sent supervisors to keep watch over the business's finances. In 1992, Makoto's brother gave up and passed the business over to him. Surprisingly, Makoto managed to turn the business around. By the 2000s, Makoto had paid off all of Daimaru Besso's debts and rebuilt its reputation. Rescuing his family's 100-year-old business was a massive accomplishment, but apparently it gave Makoto a bit of an ego. He refused to trust anyone around him with power and insisted on overseeing all decisions within the company. Unfortunately, this trait would lead to his downfall. In August of 2022, a guest who stayed at Daimaru Besso was diagnosed with Legionnaire's disease. Legionnaire's disease is caused by inhaling water containing bacteria called Legionella. Places people often come in contact with Legionella include bathhouses, saunas, and swimming pools. In March of last year, two men in their 70s were diagnosed with Legionnaire's disease after bathing in a hot spring in Kobe. One of them didn't survive. As you could imagine, Japan is pretty strict about Legionella bacteria levels in hot springs. So, after Daimaru Besso's guest got sick, health inspectors came to check their water. The results weren't good. The water contained more than double the permitted levels of Legionella bacteria. Worse, inspectors found that they had been lying on their management sheets about the frequency of water changes and chlorine application. Makoto was given a stern warning and his business was fined. Wait, only 2,000 yen? That's like 20 bucks. That seems a little light. Well, whatever, as long as he learned his lesson, right? Regulations require that Japanese bathhouses change their water at least once per week. In September, a month after the fine, Makoto submitted a report to the government saying he was following the law and changing the water frequently. Problem solved, right? Well, he was lying. Two months later, in November, health inspectors went to Daimaru Besso again, this time for a surprise inspection. And when they tested the water, they were shocked. The levels of Legionella bacteria were no longer double the permitted levels, they were 3,700 times too high. The water was super dangerous. It turned out that Daimaru Besso was not changing their water once per week. They were changing it once every six months. After this discovery, authorities forced Daimaru Besso to shut down for a month. All of this info broke to the public on February 24th of this year, and people were furious. On February 27th, the police filed criminal charges against Makoto, making him no longer just an incompetent manager, but a suspect. The next day, on the 28th, Makoto made a huge mistake. He held a press conference that he didn't properly prepare for with the intent of apologizing. But by doing so, he ended up making himself look a lot worse. First, he admitted that his employees suggested adding chlorine to the water like the government required. But Makoto turned them down because he doesn't like the smell of chlorine. He admitted that he was the one who gave the order not to change the water. He kept saying that he didn't think Legionella was a big deal. He said he thought because it's found in ponds and puddles everywhere, it couldn't be that scary. He thought, even if someone had died after visiting his bathhouse, there's no way to know his business was the cause. They could have had some pre-existing conditions. 
Finally, he admitted these poor sanitary conditions might have been going on the whole time he was president. All of these statements were made under the pretext of regret. He regretted doing the things he did, and apologized many times. Obviously, this new information didn't help the public's image of him. He continued to be heavily criticized by both the mass media and the public on social networks. Two days after the press conference, on March 2nd, he resigned as president of the company. But the public pressure didn't stop. Ten days later, on March 12th, Yamada Makoto's body was found on a mountain path. His vehicle was parked nearby. Inside, they found a note saying, I am deeply sorry. Everything that happened was my fault. Now I leave it in your hands. He was 70 years old. I was following the story as it happened, and honestly I was really sad when I read the final headline. I hope you enjoyed the video despite the tragic end. Thanks for watching.